Hey guys, uh, for today's video I thought I would talk for a few minutes about noise pollution. And I have a, I've mentioned this before I think when I was talking about renting in the Philippines and some of the things that you need to look out for. But I thought I would go into a little bit uh, more detail about this today, give you some more details. And just share with you some of my experiences with this and if you're wanting to skip the video and you're wanting to know what my point here is, it's that especially if you choose to live in a more urban area, which, uh, you know, cities, they do have big advantages for me in the Philippines because the amenities, the good internet and all that kind of thing, uh, they're, they're generally going to be a lot better in, in a city, in, a, in, you know, more of an urban area. But you do run into noise pollution and it's things that you would never think about and things that maybe you wouldn't have as many problems with uh, if you were living somewhere like uh, the United States. Uh, one of the first things that I remember, I, I had a, 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 a baptism by fire, so to speak, as far as noise pollution goes when I moved to the Philippines. Because when I moved to the, the first place where I lived, it was, uh, I've mentioned before, it was really kind of just a glorified dorm room, to be honest. I mean, it would be considered an apartment by uh, Filipino standards, but it was it was basically just a, a kind of a dorm room almost, a little two-bedroom dorm room. Well, when I uh, moved there, one thing that I didn't realize, and maybe they didn't realize this when they when the organization I was working for uh, acquired this this apartment for me, Right outside my bedroom was a water tank, the water tank for the building. Very common in the Philippines because the water pressure is not good, so you need a water tank that's constantly keeping the water level up. Well, I, um, it's funny, I'm hearing some kind of siren in the background right now. It's kind of funny that's happening while I talk about <laughs> noise pollution. But anyway, this water tank was right outside my, uh, right outside my room, and it had some type of you know motor or something in it to get to get the the to get the pump going to get all the water in this tank, uh, but it didn't necessarily run 24/7. What the the lady that had that the landlord had put in charge of the building would turn that uh, water pump on like at about some uh, some kind of ungodly hour like 4 a.m. That's when she did it. So for the first few weeks that took some getting used to because it was really loud and even I had a little air kind but even with the air kind that it would wake me up when it, at 4 a.m. every morning uh, we did try to work something out where she didn't turn it on so early but if she didn't then when the students got up to get their showers and everything they would run out of water so that was my first experience with noise pollution eventually in 2005 I moved into another place and encounter different sources of noise pollution there. Uh, I remember there was one particular year where it was kind of funny, they wasn't funny at the time, but they ended up reno renovating an apartment underneath mine. I think somebody new actually bought it and came in there. And so during normal working hours, it was hammers and drills and everything right underneath me. And finally that was over with but then a few weeks or a few months later then they decided to renovate the apartment over me so same thing during business hours it was a uh, you know hammers drills all that stuff i wasn't home a lot during that time but if i happened to be home it was it was kind of miserable so those are just a, a few things i remember from that apartment i moved into in 2005 now another thing that i remember from that particular apartment is uh, construction going on outside. I'll link to a video. It's one of the first videos I ever posted here on YouTube called Noise Pollution. And uh, you can see what they're doing in that video. They're jackhammering an opening in the wall. And this was kind of, it was a, a few hundred meters from my window. And it was just really, really loud. And so that's another thing that you will run into is if they're not renovating the par apartments around you, they may be doing construction right by your apartment or house, and it's really noisy. 
Uh, this is another thing I ran into in Manila. This didn't bother me quite as much, but uh, if you spend any time in the Philippines, you know they love their karaoke. They call it videoke there. And I remember, again, this is the apartment I moved into. I was there from 2005 to 2010. I was up on the, I think it was the sixth floor, and kind of the way the apartment buildings were designed, I was kind of if you could think I'm kind of back here and then you have buildings going on this way so it was a little bit like a sound chamber and right there at the bottom of the uh, at the bottom level across the street for quite a few months they had a video key thing going and I remember this guy and girl would sing there and you know, they would get drunk and start belting out lyrics and it would sound like you know a cat being run over by a lawnmower and one of the songs that they loved to sing was called uh, Basang Basasa Ulan. And it's really a great song, It's it's uh, but it's ladies that sing the song, the real version. This was a drunk man and a woman singing it, and it was just, uh, it was awful. And I remember one of my friends came over one time, a Filipino friends, and I said, uh, Val, what is that song? I can't tell if they're speaking English or Tagalog or what they're doing. And he said, I think that's Basang Basasa Ulan. So... That was another noise pollution thing. It, like I said, that one didn't bother me quite as much because uh, they they usually wouldn't do it too late. And if I needed to sleep, if I went to my room and turned the aircon on, I wouldn't hear it. But if I was in my living room just watching TV, that that sound would just come straight into my straight into the apartment. Because remember, most of the time you don't try to air condition an, an entire apartment all the time. So a couple of more. When I moved to Angeles. I, I, I joked with my I've joked with my wife and warned her that I am a magnet for noise pollution because I remember when I moved to Angeles City I had that little apartment you've seen pictures of it in another video I think uh, fantastic little apartment it's really the best place I lived while I was in Manila but I remember within literally days of me moving into that apartment people started renovating the house right across the street from me. So again, construction noise. It was hammers, drills, all that stuff. And I don't remember how long that went on, but it went on for you know at least a few months while they got that ready. They eventually finished that, and a pretty nice, pretty nice guy and his family moved across the street there and started renting that place. Uh, but last but not least, a couple more things. Remember I told you that people love music in the Philippines. They love their video key. When I was in my apartment in the Philippines, a few doors down, or uh, one of our neighbors had some kind of band that played. And uh, hang on a second. Get a sip of caffeine here. I don't know how often they played, but if they had a gig coming up, then I believe it was Thursday night they would practice from around... I don't know, around 6 o'clock till around 9 o'clock, something like that. And we would hear the same, there were two or three songs that they loved. It was like a, that song, Smoke on the Water. They would sing that song two or three times every time that they would practice. Uh, last but not least, I didn't have a lot of trouble with this, but it's something you'll hear about a lot. Let's say you decide you're not going to go for the city. You're going to move out to the province. The issue you may run out, you may run into out in the province, are things like roosters, because a lot of people in the Philippines raise chickens, roosters, and so depending on how close those are to you, you may get woken up every morning at like four or five a.m. by the roosters. Uh, so those are just a few of my uh, memories about noise pollution, and I'm just letting you know that it's something that you need to be kind of prepared for and when you rent it's something you need to look out for you're not going to completely avoid it I think that's impossible unless you move into unless you're able to find a really quiet subdivision you're probably not going to able, be able to completely escape the noise pollution but if you're moving into a place you want to at least be sure you're not moving right across the street from a video key bar or a, a place that does construction or, or something like that because if you do obviously you're uh, not ever going to get any sleep so uh, anyway that's noise pollution in the Philippines